This tiny box on the desk in front of me is a toolkit. And this tiny box on the desk in front of me might look like a toolkit, but it's actually a PC. Let's find out if size really does matter, shall we? Hi guys, I'm Matt and welcome to Kit Guru. So this is the Lever Z5 Plus from a company called ECS IPC. ECS IPC produce a number of products, motherboards, mini PCs, all-in-one PCs, and then electric vehicle chargers. Obviously, I'm gonna be focusing in on one of the offerings from their range of mini PCs today. They offer a fairly wide choice of mini PCs with a range of different specs, the Lever Z5 Plus that I'm looking at today officially releases in May and is gonna set you back $500 for the i5 version that I'm looking at. I don't have UK or Euro pricing at the moment, but as always, we'll leave it in the comments if and when we know more. For that $500, you'll get the following specs. An Intel Core i5-1335U Raptor Lake CPU, that process has got 10 cores in total, two performance cores and eight efficiency cores. The P cores are capable of boosting up to 4.6 gigahertz on paper. This i5 runs on a base power of just 15 watts and it is capable of boosting up to 55 watts if it needs to. It comes with 16 gig of 3200 megahertz DDR4 memory. The brand or model of the memory isn't listed in the spec list on the ECS website, but cracking this thing open reveals that it's made by ACPI and it consists of two 8GB modules. Storage comes in the form of a 256GB M.2 PCI Express Gen 4 NVMe SSD. Again, there were no details on the, the make or model on the spec list, but looking inside, we can see that it's made by 4C and it's an XP2000 F256G. Testing that with Crystal Dismark showed that it had read speeds of roughly 4,900 megabytes and then write speeds of roughly 2,000 megabytes just over. There's obviously no dedicated graphics card in a tiny PC like this. The video-based workload stuff is gonna be handled by the Core i5 and its Iris Xe graphics. The machine will handle up to four displays at a resolution of up to 4K. Having integrated graphics means that the game performance isn't gonna break any records. I'm gonna run it through some light gaming scenarios later in the video. The Z5 Plus has dual 2.5 gigabit network ports on the back alongside Wi-Fi 6E. The motherboard is a custom job. It was obviously going to have to be that to fit inside such a small case. There's no internal power supply. All of that stuff is handled by the 90 watt laptop-esque power lead that comes in the box. In terms of I.O., all of the USB ports are on the front of the Lever Z5 Plus. There's one Type-C 4.0 and three Type-A 3.2 ports alongside a headphone slash microphone combo jack and then the power button. Then on the rear of the box, there's a pair of HDMI 2.0 ports, a single DisplayPort 1.4, and then the dual 2.5 gigabit network ports that I mentioned a second ago. And then finally, there's the power adapter port. There is a Kensington lock on one of the sides as well for securing it down in, in businesses and stuff like that. That's about all there is to tell you about the specs. This is a bit of a change in pace from the usual gaming systems that I look at. The Z5 Plus has pretty clearly been designed for general day-to-day -day computing as well as business and industrial uses. The ECS website states this clearly at the top of the product page, so we're going to have to bear that in mind as we head through the review and through the testing and looking at the performance and stuff. Before we take a look at how this tiny PC performs though, I want to talk about just how tiny it is. The dimensions of this case, if you can call it a case, it's ridiculously small. The dimensions are 148 by 120 by 38.35 millimetres. It's very, very small. Granted, it's not the smallest PC ever created, but it's easily small enough to tuck it away under a desk or behind the monitor. 
And what's more, it's got visa mounting holes on the bottom of the case for mounting it to walls or ceilings or stuff like that. Which, small side story, before becoming a reviewer full-time full for Guru, I used to work in tech support and we used to use thin client desktops just like these. And we would very often mount them up behind screens or digital advertising boards. So while that visa mount might seem a bit strange when you think of this thing just on a desktop, it definitely does have its use cases and it's going to come in useful for certain scenarios, especially in business environments. Along with that small footprint, the Lever Z5 Plus doesn't weigh that much either. It gets to around 570 grams when I stick it on my scales. The Lever Z5 Plus that ECS sent out to me came with Windows 11 Pro pre-installed. And the only thing that I've done pre-testing was to update the operating system. I haven't messed with any optimization or driver tweaks or anything like that. This is the out of the box performance and the, the as it comes state of the system. And with that said, let's move on and look at some benchmarks. If you're looking for a new chair, then you should definitely check out Boolies. I'm currently sat on their Ninja Pro gaming chair, which is one of three models from their gaming series alongside the Elite and the Master. So if you're looking for something new to stick in your setup that you can sit on and game and work, then I recommend definitely checking out Boolies.co.uk. So a quick note before we dive into the charts and stuff, I've approached reviewing this system a little differently to how I usually review a pre-built gaming PC, as well, this isn't a pre-built gaming PC. So while I've tested the machine as usual through the following synthetic benchmarks, I approached gaming a little bit differently as it wouldn't have been an apples to apples comparison to put this up against anything that I reviewed in the past. Starting with Cinebench Multicore, the Lever Z5 Plus clocked a score of 5,805 points. Moving on to Cinebench Single Core, that score was 1,556 points. And then in 3D Mark Time Spy, we saw a CPU score of 4,394, while the GPU score was recorded at 1,204. And in Blender, it took a staggering 1,082 seconds or around 18 minutes to complete our classroom render test. And moving into Ada, which is how we test the memory, a read result of 38,147 megabytes per second. And then there was a write result of 39,077 megabytes per second. And PC Mark 10 then, which this shows the day-to-day -day usage performance, which this is a nice test for a system like this. The overall score was 5,295. Essentials came in at 10,346. Productivity was 7,032. Content creation was 5,539. And looking at the CPU package temperature then, at idle, we saw the i5 sitting at 62 degrees, while in a Cinebench sustained benchmark, we saw that jump up to 75 degrees. The CPU package power sat at 20 both at idle and in Cinebench, while the system noise was 36 decibels at idle and 38 decibels in Cinebench. So moving on to talk about gaming then, and I went into the games testing fairly optimistic and with a much more relaxed approach than I usually would have during a full gaming system review, as I mentioned earlier. But first off, I launched Counter-Strike 2 at 1080p, and it was an okay experience. While it did feel a bit choppy, the Lever Z5 Plus managed about 50 to 60 FPS in this title. It was definitely, definitely playable. But I wouldn't want to play a shooter like Counter-Strike, a competitive shooter like that for very long. And in addition to that, I was playing practice matches against bots offline. If I was going to go online against other players, it would definitely be another story and I'd want it to just feel a bit smoother. But it does work and it was playable. And then on the other end of the spectrum... The Tiny Z5 Plus will handle really chilled indie games like Terraria and Stardew Valley with ease. It ran them both at 4K without any problems. For less demanding, yet still really enjoyable titles, that's a bit subjective, but there are some really good, low-spec, low-demanding games out there. For titles like that, the Lever Z5 Plus will do just fine. And then dialing things back up a notch then, I decided to give The Witcher 3 a go, just to see how this tiny PC would fare in a much more demanding title than I've tried so far. Running with every setting at its lowest on DirectX 12 at 1080p, I saw FPS readings of about 25 to 30, and the game, although not a great experience, was semi-playable. That was with FSR on auto, so I'm kind of spoiled. I've got a, a powerful gaming PC, but if I didn't have that, and this was my only way of playing games, then it would be an okay experience. 
it's it's nowhere near what we'd expect to see out of a dedicated gaming PC, obviously. But for an extremely small, discrete system like this, I think it's respectable how this thing performs. So there we have it. That was the Lever Z5 Plus Mini PC from ECS. And while it would be easy for me to sit here and say the performance was pretty poor and the gaming experience was even worse, I think that would be missing the point of this machine. It's not designed to be a powerhouse of a system and it's definitely not meant to be a main gaming machine for anyone, but it will handle everyday computing just fine. Web browsing, watching some YouTube or maybe light media PC use. And while I don't have the environment to test it in an industrial or business type setting, I know from personal experience that machines like this definitely have a place in the world, again for like digital signage and digital advertising, hoarding and stuff like that. So with that being said, it's probably not going to appeal to you, our usual viewers, who come to the channel for the latest gaming tech and hardware, but that by no means makes it a bad product. And that's the end of the review guys, I hope you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to KitGuru to keep up with the latest PC gaming news and reviews. If you go down below the video, you'll find links to our merch store, our Patreon page, our website, and our Discord server if you want to check any of that out. Anyway, guys, I've been Matt. This has been the Lever Z5 Plus, a mini PC from ECS. I will speak to you in the next one. Look after yourselves. See you later.